Are you tired of people making assumptions about you based on the size of your body? Do you sometimes feel like people define you by your body size alone? Are you ready to reclaim the word fat as a simple description like blonde or tall? Today on the Right Now Show, we're going to talk about a special new project by the Size Diversity Task Force that's going to help you do all those things. So stay tuned. My name is Jeanette DePatty, AKA the Fat Chick, and I'm a plus size certified fitness instructor who's helped hundreds of people of all ages, shapes, sizes, and abilities learn to love their bodies and love exercise again. Today on the Right Now Show, we're gonna talk about the word fat. You know, many people are deeply uncomfortable with this word. Some people feel like it's deeply insulting and should never be used in polite company almost like a swear word. But others have sought to reclaim this word and to take away its power to be used as a tool for ridicule or shame. Obviously, as the fat chick, I subscribe to the second camp. I use the word fat all the time. After all, it's on my business card, it's on my book, my website, I I am fat. It's an important part of who I am. I think it might have been easier for me and for some of the people around me to accept my role as a plus size fitness instructor if I had used a euphemism to describe my size. I could have called myself the pleasantly plump chick or the fluffy fit chick or something like that. It might have made some people feel more comfortable with me. It probably would have made it easier to get sponsorship money but I felt like it was really important for me to use the word fat. I wanted to focus on creating a safe place for people of all sizes to learn about and to engage in fitness. And I think beating around the bush or using a euphemism would have given the impression that I'm ashamed of my body and that I feel like I need to hide behind cute language or a clever turn of phrase. But as much as the word fat does describe me, it does not completely define me. I'm also short, brunette, married, entrepreneurial, female. There's thousands of words that can be used to describe me. That's why I'm so excited to tell you about the Size Diversity Task Force's brand new Fat and Proud project. The idea is pretty simple. You just make a sign that describes you using the word fat plus any other words you find appropriate. Then you take a picture of yourself holding that sign and then you email the picture to the Size Diversity Task Force. That's it. It's pretty easy. You can even download sign templates like this one from the Size Diversity Task Force website. Then you just add some words that feel good to you, snap your photo and add to the awesomeness. For example, here is a sign I made. It says, I'm happy, fit, gorgeous, and fat, and I'm not going away. I really wanna stress that this project is open to everybody. We've designed it as an intentionally inclusive space open to people of all ages, shapes, sizes, orientations, ethnicities, everybody. Even if you don't identify as fat, but you see yourself as a fat ally, there's a sign for that too. And if for some reason you feel like we at the Size Diversity Task Force aren't doing a good job of including you or making you feel welcome, then please let us know and we'll try to fix it. The important thing here is to let the world know that you are both fat and proud and that you're not planning on letting shame dictate how you describe yourself or how you live your life right now. There's links to lots more information about how to participate in this awesome project in the box below. And hey, if you're enjoying the show, don't forget to subscribe. So until next week, mwah!